Hi, we're back with Natalie Murphy today, and we're talking about how, about your thinking and how do you adjust your thinking for success? Oh, that's such a good question because really the biggest battle you're ever going to um, have is the battle that goes on between your ears. And um, of course, I'm perfect, but I've heard <laughs> that there's some ways to help battle this. And what I use is I use a gratitude journal. And some of you have heard about this. If you went to seminar, you probably heard about the gratitude journal, but we're going to talk about the gratitude journal and why it works and how it works. Um, so is that okay if I discuss yes. kind of the yes, main points? Please. Okay, in a gratitude journal, some of you have probably heard this as a catchphrase, and there's two different kinds of thinking on it. The best way that I found that works is to um, understand that your brain actually works like a computer, and it's information in, information out. Have you ever tried to tell a joke to a computer? It doesn't understand it. Have you ever tried to use sarcasm? It doesn't understand it. So um, what I like to do is fill my brain with computer input and output. And in my gratitude journal, I use um, phrases like this. I'm so happy and grateful for my brand new pink Cadillac. I'm so happy and grateful for that our unit has 100 stars this year. I'm so happy and grateful for my kids being very successful in school and um, my husband and my relationship. You use the, like it's already happened, like, like you're grateful, it's already there in front of you, and instead of in the future, if you keep it in the future, if you say, I'm so happy and grateful for that someday, I will be a sales director. Your brain will always keep it in the future. Always, because your brain doesn't understand that you really wish it was right now. They only understand that um, you want it to be someday, so it's gonna keep it in the someday. Is that kind of helpful? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think that's great. So, um, now you've done this gratitude journal and what kinds of things did you find happened as a result of this? Oh, such a great question. I love telling this story. It's really fun. Um, I started um, thinking about the 11 different areas of our life. Joyce teaches us all the time about um, at the beginning of the year, just take a clean piece of paper and think about the different, uh, the 11 different areas of your life. And I um, wanted my gratitude journal to reflect those areas that I felt like I could do better. Probably the war in my head, I was not winning. So the first one I did was about um, our Cadillac. I really, really, really have always, always, always wanted to be a Cadillac sales director. So right away at the beginning, I would date it, my page and my book, and I would say, I'm so happy and grateful for that we are a pink Cadillac driving unit. And um, I also put in there, I'm so happy and grateful for the extra $15,000 in income that we got this year. Um, and then I'd say, I'm so happy and grateful for that my kids are so happy and successful and they love school. And it's amazing what would happen with that. Um, so at the end of the seminar year last year, not only did we finish two free cars, we actually earned an Equinox and then turned around three months later and finished our pink Cadillac. So I got to pick up two brand new cars last year, which was really exciting. Like if you haven't had two car parties in a year, it's kind of some princess stuff. I, I pretty much felt like a princess. And I got my um, pink Cadillac on December 22nd because I would say I'm so happy and grateful for that I'm gonna get my pink Cadillac, that I have my pink Cadillac on um, for Christmas. And so December 22nd, it showed up. And uh, when I got to turn on that uh, steering wheel heater, I was like, yes, I am totally a princess. And for those of you who live in Minnesota, our winter lasted like four extra months. So I got to use that steering wheel heater all the time. It was amazing. And then about April, we got a letter from my husband's work. And it was something that said, retirement benefits expiring. And I was like, what? We don't have any retirement benefits like that have this label on them. You know, some of us are color wheel oriented and we know by the picture. And so I opened it up and here was a pension plan that my husband and I had no idea the company had on him because he's gone through a couple of sales in the company and it was expiring because the company they had used for it was going out of business. Guess how much it was? $15,000. Wow. It was 50, I was like, oh, okay, I'm so happy and grateful for that extra million dollars we're getting this year. <laughs> So you can really use it to change things in your life. I want you guys to um, wrap your brain around greatness, like big deal stuff. Even if big deal for you is an extra thousand dollars a month, whatever your big deal is, stretch a little bit and put it in your gratitude journal. And then you have to feel the emotions on it because if you don't feel the emotions, it won't work. You have to feel good about it. You can't have guilt. Um, you have to like imagine yourself. Like if you're so happy and grateful for your brand new Mary Kay car, Imagine the smell when you get inside, what the dealership is like, how many people are there, are you gonna bring cookies? You have to see the whole, the whole win in your head before you're there. So that's how it works and it's amazing. I challenge you guys, try it. You will not be disappointed. And you have to be dedicated to it. It has to be an every night kind of thing. 
for about 30 to 90 days before you start to see, like really see what it can do. That is great. Great. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate You're welcome. that. We'll, come, we'll be back with you.